California sheriff's deputy faces a criminal investigation today after his bosses said he fabricated a story about being shot by a sniper. 21-year-old Angel Reynosa said he was hit in the shoulder on Wednesday outside a station in Lancaster, that's north of Los Angeles. The L.A. County Sheriff's Office says hundreds of officers responded. A commuter rail line was shut down and resources were wasted. But why in the world did the deputy do this? Well, Gail, the why is what the L.A. Sheriff says they don't know yet. This story seemed pretty strange from the get-go. Investigators say Reynosa has not yet explained his motive for filing the false claim. He's now lost his job and he might face criminal charges for filing a false police report. There was no sniper, no shots fired, and no gunshot injury sustained to his shoulder. Completely fabricated. Homicide Bureau Captain Kent Wegener says much of Deputy Angel Reynosa's story to police just did not add up. Much of his uh, statement was self-serving, didn't make a lot, whole lot of sense. Uh, take a shot from the north of the Lancaster helipad. Uh, see him here in the right shoulder. Reynosa radioed for help on Wednesday from the police station parking lot, saying that he had been shot by a sniper. I think it's from the apartment window. There's multiple windows open. I didn't know where the shot came from. SWAT teams went door to door, evacuating people from the building while others sheltered in place. Police also searched the area with a helicopter. When a police officer says he's been shot or shot at, uh, we respond in force. There was a large perimeter to protect this area because we didn't know where this armed gunman was. John Tay Williams lives in that apartment building. My family, we had to be outside the house and um, I had to stay at my mom's house because they wasn't letting anybody in and out. Investigators say Reynosa later admitted his story was not true. They found no visible wounds on him, though he did have holes in his shirt from a bullet that he said had grazed him. He later admitted, according to police, he cut the holes himself. Assistant Sheriff Robin Lehman. It's extremely disappointing. Our deputy sheriffs are held to a higher standard, and unfortunately in this case, he did not uh, act to that standard. Reynosa had only been a deputy with the L.A. County Sheriff's Department for about a year. We called the L.A. Sheriff's Union, but have not heard back. The L.A. Lancaster has a Facebook page, the Lancaster Sheriff's Department, and the latest post is about this story, and it starts with five words. Angry, embarrassed, furious, unbelievable, and ashamed. But really, this is a perfect video example of why people like us question the news. This is a perfect example of them fluffing or flu what's the proper word? Pretty much just blowing this entire thing that they were trying to create and looking like total buffoons. And of course, the mainstream media, after originally reporting on it, just decides to drop the story instead of saying, hey, look, now we could kind of understand why people watch these events as they happen in real time and question if they're real or if they're drills. Now, I'm just going to show you the two versions of the story and let you decide for yourself, but this is your own news media even coming out and your own police force, Masonic police force, coming out and admitting they made up a fake hoax story and the cop who's behind it's going to be punished, but how come we don't hear this on a national level? Because this is the perfect type of example to use to say, look, then why is it so bad if we look at some of these events and we say, we don't think that this is accurate or we don't think that it's real? Because a lot of the times, they're not. A lot of the times, they're flat out drills that go live. So take a look at what happened here in Los in California, reported by ABC News. Police are searching for a gunman who shot and wounded a sheriff's deputy. Our chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, is on the scene in Lancaster. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, George. Sheriff's deputies are still investigating that scene behind me. And just a few moments ago, we spoke to a pair of investigators who told us that the sniper who fired at least one or two shots towards that rookie officer from a building just on the other side of this parking lot that houses mentally ill patients is still on the loose. That urgent manhunt underway this morning after a sniper opened fire on this Los Angeles County Sheriff's Station, shooting a deputy who was walking through the parking lot on the way to his car. Uh, take a shot from the north of the Lancaster helipad. Uh, see him here in the right shoulder. They might have dropped over from the apartment complex to the north. They got heard two shots go out. That's the rookie deputy calling for help. Hundreds forced to shelter in place as police stormed this nearby four-story apartment complex where it's believed the shots originated. Think about what happened here today. A sniper 
took out one of our deputies. And the only reason that deputy is alive is because he had his vest on. Residents say police are a regular presence at this building. They let people actually live in our common complex with as mental illness. And it's kind of scary because there's no security. The cops are in there constantly. A suspect has yet to be named and no motive has been given. The wounded deputy identified as 21-year-old rookie Angel Reynosa. That bullet hitting his vest and injuring his shoulder, he was rushed to the hospital breathing and conscious. He's been treated and we expect that he'll be fine. Now we're told that that deputy, that rookie, was just about to take that vest off when he was shot. We're told that ballistic vest likely saved his life. He is now, we're told, resting with his family. Robin. Full recovery. So thankful that he had that vest on, Matt. Thank you so much. Okay, so you see that, right? And we're all, we're all shook over what happened. We all pray for the cop. We hope he's okay. And the mayor even went on the record as saying that he saw him in the hospital, that he's hanging in there. And then a couple days later, this story comes out. It was the major investigation that was launched after a deputy claimed to have been shot by a sniper. But authorities say it was all a hoax and he made it up. Now this guy has come forward to say he was questioned by police before the truth came out. This was the urgent scene as armed deputies were on the hunt for a sniper. Deputies ambushed, one shot right outside the Lancaster Sheriff's Station. A deputy sheriff in Lancaster, California, claimed a sniper shot him as he walked out of the sheriff's station. See him hitting the right shoulder? They might have got them. The sniper was supposedly firing from this apartment building. I think it's from the apartment window. There's multiple windows open. Now, in a dramatic twist, officials say it was a hoax. There was no sniper, no shots fired, and no gunshot injuries. Completely fabricated. Deputy Angel Reynosa claimed he was fired at by a sniper outside the sheriff's station behind me. At the time, authorities said his shoulder was grazed by a bullet and two holes were ripped in his shirt and his bulletproof vest saved his life. But now they're revealing a lot about his story didn't add up. There were no bullets found at the scene and he had no visible injuries. But this man says this was no victimless crime. Actor Kent McGuire, who lives on the fourth floor of the apartment building and specializes in playing cops in TV shows and movies, tells us how real cops came knocking on his door. They took me, uh, detained me. He says investigators ransacked his bedroom looking for evidence, confiscated his BB guns, which he says he uses in acting jobs. They just literally just turned the place upside down. McGuire was quickly cleared, but he says he's furious that the deputy is now accused of faking a sniper attack. What do you want to say to that officer? That officer can go to hell. I hope he goes to jail for all the trauma that can never be repaid. The deputy has been relieved of duty pending a criminal investigation. No motive was given as to why he made up the story. Hmm. So we're so bad for questioning things. Meanwhile, the news right here just fluffed the story. Didn't even come back and really take responsibility for it and say, hey, you know what? We should have waited until we had facts straight instead of going live with helicopters and saying that there was a sniper on a roof. We should have gotten to the gotten down there on ground floor at ground zero, seen what was going on, seen people wounded. Nope. Instead, what does it turn into? Manhunt, out looking for the guy who shot the cop. Then the cop, oh, he's a hero, the mayor says. He's in, he's in the hospital. Oh, he's checked himself out. He's going to be okay. Oh, and then it turns out it wasn't real. The cop made it up. I mean, you see? Now what's somebody going to say? Why would, the, why would the cop make it up? What do you think? This is the only time that this has ever occurred? This is a once-in-a-lifetime thing that there was a story that went live that wasn't real, that was there to manipulate? Look at, I mean, ugh. Where are the national stories? This to me would be nationals because then you would be able to say, hey, why do we have a problem with people who are questioning the narrative if, if ABC News and all these other, you know, NBC, everybody's going live saying that there's a sniper on a roof shooting at police. Then it turns out that the guy didn't get shot, that there was no sniper, that it wasn't real at all. And nobody holds the news media accountable for it. But we get held accountable if we look at any of these stories and say, well, you know what, we're suspicious of these stories because we think that there's an agenda behind it. The LA, LA Sheriff's deputy will lose his job after faking the attack. That's what he says. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputy lied about being shot by a sniper last week and will be fired from his job, authorities said Saturday. The deputy's report 
reported that he'd been shot by an unseen attacker from a nearby apartment complex. This sparked a manhunt in northern L.A. County. But at a press conference late Saturday, the captain of the sheriff's homicide bureau said Deputy Angel Reynosa's story was completely fabricated. So then how did... <laughs> So then how does this go live and viral? And why are they? Why is the media reporting that the guy's in the hospital? Reynoso is going to lose his job and face criminal charges. An investigation into the false report will also be referred to the district's attorney office. On Wednesday, Reynoso claimed he had been in the parking lot of the L.A. County Sheriff's Department station in the city of Lancaster when he was shot at from a nearby apartment complex, sparking a full-scale response. Uh, it's pretty repetitive, whoever wrote this article. That involved the SWAT team working with deputies to secure the area. I mean, boy, boy, oh boy, in a perfect world, this would be the lead story on every media. Oh, this guy made it up. Oh, so there is a chance that some of these news stories that get reported to us could be fake and not real. But we get yelled at. We get the finger pointed at us. Why? Because we question a narrative that they don't want questioned. I hope that this video will go semi-viral. I know no videos go viral for any of us truth speakers anymore. But I at least hope that it'll be able to go up on YouTube. It's, I needed a good laugh today. And this, well, this this took the cake. <laughs> welcome, welcome to a world, folks, where nobody's even trying to seek why the cop would do it in the first place. All the other police officers who were trained police officers, they couldn't see that there was no shooter and no bullets were being fired at them and they went along for the ride. Hmm, pretty interesting. I wonder what's behind it. Always an agenda, folks. The media, the news is faker than what you'll see in the movies. There's no doubt about it. Yet the zombies out there who are under complete mind control take this stuff and they think it's real and then they get pissed off when people question it because they just love their matrix that keeps them a slave to the system so much. And they don't like independent thought. They want to kill it. Well, looks like this story got killed pretty quick. Too bad nobody really reported on it. Would have liked to see this go national and go viral, but what a joke, right? Share this with your friends, show them, and then say, look, why do you think it's a big deal for me to question why some of these events, I don't believe some of these events occur? Well, here's a perfect example, because they don't.